All right, I'm going to turn it to speaker view so we can. Anya, you're going to need a dish towel. We're going to use it later. You can get it in a second. So sit nice and tall in your seat, maybe towards the edge, so you actually feel your sit bones in kind of digging into the seat. Start with your hands relaxed. In this practice, please keep in mind that you only do what you need to do for yourself today, that it is not a race. There are no winners, there's no losers, but it's more about getting to know yourself, knowing your body, knowing where you belong in, in this process. It's self-observing and making wise choices for yourself. See if you can sit tall with your shoulders back. We're gonna work on shoulders and hips today. <laughs> Um, but we're gonna start with our finger niyasas. So I want you to inhale, take your arms out and up. Go as high as your arms will allow. Take your thumb to your index finger and pinch. Exhale, lower your arms softly. Once your hands get down below your waist, spread your fingers apart like you're pushing it away. We'll inhale all the way up. Touch your thumb to your middle finger. Keep your spine straight. Exhale, lower your arms down, 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 down. Release your fingers. Inhale all the way up. Breathe through your nose. Touch your thumb to your ring fingers. Exhale softly, slowly exhale down. Release your fingers. Inhale, come all the way out and up. Touch your thumb to your pinky fingers. Exhale all the way down. And release. Try one more round going through all four fingers on your own, maybe even closing your eyes and really focus on as your hands come down, that complete exhale when your shoulders relax and your hands spread apart. So when you're ready, start with that inhale. I'm not going to cue it because I want you to do it at your breath. Follow it. Stay focused. And pause at the end, allow yourself to just breathe naturally. Observe the feeling and sensations in your fingers and your palms. And then bring your mind to the soles of your feet. Feel whatever your feet is touching, whether it's carpet, floor, or rug. Maybe you're wearing shoes or socks, just feel, observe. And notice it is any sounds around you, other than the sound of my voice, just notice sounds. Maybe you can hear yourself or an animal or somebody else breathing around you. Maybe you hear a dishwasher, or washing machine, air condition unit, something. Just notice sounds that are happening right now. And if you pay attention to sound, your mind will stay focused on the present moment. 
So if you find that your mind is wandering off into different spaces and different times going floating into the past or the future, go ahead and just bring your mind back to what you feel tactilely and what you hear in the moment. Let's open our eyes. Take your arms out about shoulder height. And now take your left hand and bring it across and touch your right forearm or arm somewhere and then open your left arm out. We're gonna do the opposite side. Take your right hand to your left arm, look to the left. It's okay to bend your elbow too. And bring it back. Touch your left hand to your right arm. Exhale, right hand to left. And if you need to do it down here, you can also go lower. Inhale is when you open your arms. The exhale is when you touch it. And Probably pretty quickly, you're going to recognize how heavy your arms are, how much the shoulders have to work here to keep your arms up. Good. Try one more to each side. And then totally relax the arms, shoulders release. Maybe you can feel a little bit more sensations in your hands. Let's work on the neck for a moment. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. See if you can rub your ear like you're rubbing it on your shoulder. Mine doesn't touch, but just pretend you're rubbing your shoulder on your ear. Or maybe even take your chin towards your your shoulder, you can even lift up your shoulder, just kind of explore putting your head. And what I want you to think about today is, is it easier on one side of your body rather than the other side? We are not, most of us are not in full equanimity in ourselves. We tend to favor one side over the other. The idea is if you're tight on one side, maybe work that side a little more than your other side just to bring them back into balance. All right, lift your head up and let's take it to the other side. Maybe notice if it's harder or easier to lean your head to the left. Just kind of rubbing it, making some gentle movements and just observing how this side feels. Maybe lifting your shoulder, touching your chin to your shoulder. And now slowly lift your head up. What I want you to do now is take your right shoulder forward as if you're just kind of rotating the shoulder forward. Your hand can rotate around so the palm comes out to the side and then rotate it back. So bring it forward and then rotate it back. So just kind of play around with making some movements in your shoulders. <laughs> It doesn't have to look like mine, but try bringing the shoulder forward and bringing it back. We'll do one shoulder at a time so we can really concentrate on the movement. Notice where you're feeling it. Good, after a couple on this side, we'll move and relax the right arm, sit back up and then do the other side. You're gonna flip your palm around, bring your shoulder forward and it brings the scapula forward and then bring it back. We're just moving the shoulder forward, rotating it back. Hopefully you are enjoying this. 
not trying to force it or make it be something it's not. One more round of this. Good, and relax your hands on your lap. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Relax your shoulders. We're gonna move into your knees next. So your knees move front and back. But today, step your left foot out and I want you to go from side to side. So see if you step your left foot out just a bit and then take your right foot towards your left leg. So you can make that rotation. And notice where you feel this one. Just kind of bringing your right foot towards your left calf. Mine's not touching, but I don't have long legs. <laughs> Maybe you do. And notice where you're feeling it. I feel this a lot in my hips. You'll feel it where it's tight. Good, do one more here. And we'll set that down. And bringing the left sole of your foot towards the right leg. Step your right leg out just a bit and then try to do that. So you're gonna swing your knee across and down. If your feet are dragging, that's okay too. <laughs> Not a motion we make very often, right? because the knee goes for front and back, not side to side. And notice how you can't really go very far out to the left. Good, and let's set the left foot down. Keep your knees apart, and then lift up your right foot, draw your right knee towards your right shoulder. If you can, look over your left shoulder. And then we'll exhale, lower your right foot down. Take your hand to your left knee, inhale, lift your left knee up, look to the right. And lower that down. Inhale, right knee comes up, look to the left. Exhale, lower down. Inhale. Exhale, one more to each side. Good, now pause for a second here. We're gonna lean and put our weight onto the left leg. As you do that, see if you can get your right cheek off of the chair and then come back down. Lift your left cheek, left hips and come back down. Now I want you to just imagine you're trying to you know, create space under here. The inhale is when the knee comes up Exhale when the foot comes down. Remember, you're not in a race. Slower creates stability. Stability helps with flexibility. So just kind of walk, getting at the hip off of the chair, not falling out of the chair, using your core for this, your transverse abdominus muscles. One more to each side. Set your feet down, come back into mountain pose. Samasiti, palms facing forward. Deep breath in, exhale it out. Moving into a sun salutation, modify as needed. I'll show you a couple different ways. We'll inhale the arms out to the side, all the way up as high as that allows. Exhale, swan dive over your legs. Come forward, hands to the outside of your shins. Tuck your chin in or keep your head up, depending on if you need to keep your head up, keep your head up. Now inhale, bring your arms back out to a T. 
Bring your shoulders back over your hips. Exhale, lower your arms. So this is just a different version. There's a bunch of versions of salutations. Inhale, arms come out. Exhale, arms go out to the side like an airplane. Lean forward. Lower your arms down. Option to look down. Inhale, arms come out to your shoulders. Then lift up your upper body. Exhale, lower the arms. So the crease is where we're working here. Squeeze the abdominal muscles in as you exhale. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, squeeze the abdominal muscles, come to a flat back. Inhale, lower down. Arms come out to the side. And then lean back. Exhale, arms down by your side. Inhale. Exhale, come forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Do one more round on your own. If it doesn't look like mine, who cares? Make up your own pattern. <laughs> Most important part is just breathing. When you're finished, just rest for a second. And grab your little dish towel or washcloth. <laughs> I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. You're going to take your dish towel behind your arms like this. So if you're in your chair, make sure you've got enough space that you're sitting kind of to the edge. And we're going to roll the shoulders forward and then roll the shoulders back. And maybe you can get your arms coming up. So again, you might have to sit close. If this is not working for you, stand up and do it. So the idea is just to keep the shoulders we're going to push them forward so we know what forward is and then roll them back and see if you can lift up a little bit. Now, if you're like, this is way too hard, you may need a longer towel, <laughs> but, um, you know, you can tighten it up, keep your hands closer and closer together. That's going to be more intense. The further apart your hands, the easier it should be, you know, and if it's not easy, don't worry about it. Just pretend you're doing it. So we're just going to kind of lift the arms up and lower. I'm having to lean forward because I hit the chair. Oh, feel it in my triceps. Keep breathing. When you've had enough, you can quit. If that feels like enough for me, I'm gonna take the towel to my lap, shake out my hands, roll out my wrist. Good. Now you're gonna take the, the towel over your right shoulder. So just kind of throw it like a, a purse or a scarf. Take your left hand behind you and see if you can find it. Again, if it's too short, you might not be able to. Walk your right hand down and then point your elbow up as best you can. It looks like this. If that's not comfortable, just hold on to your shirt. And then we're gonna push the heart forward, the belly forward, keep your chin tucked. Kind of keep yourself in that. Uh, cow like shape where you push your belly forward, the sternum comes forward, rib cage comes open. Take a couple breaths here. All right, when you're ready to come out of it, <laughs> release your towel. 
maybe roll out your shoulders again, because woo, I feel that a lot in my left shoulder. So we're so used to doing this and like hunching over. We're just trying to create this, the pectoral muscles, the deltoids, your front of your neck muscles, working on those. Now take the towel, put it over your left shoulder here. You're gonna reach your right hand around to find it. Then point your left elbow up. So you can kind of gently pull down with your right hand and just snugging the towel. As you try to pull up with the left hand, so you're doing this opposite direction pull. And then again, try to puff your chest forward. Keep your chin tucked and your gaze to the horizon and breathe. Right, slowly release your hands from behind you. Place the towel on your lap. Do some shakes, just maybe move the arms forward and back, loosening up the muscles. Maybe notice the air temperature around you. Come back to noticing what you're feeling on your feet what you're sitting on, notice sounds, maybe you can hear your arms moving. All right, now we're gonna take the towel, we're gonna hold on to it in front of us. And we're inhale through the front, come up as high as your arms will allow. And then exhale, reach forward and see if you can drop the arms down, bringing the hands towards the feet. If they touch the feet, great. If they don't, don't worry about it. Inhale, come back up. Use your core, holy moly. You gotta feel that core coming back up. Exhale, lower the arms down. Okay, we're gonna do five more of those, make, making a total of six. If you only wanna do three, only do three. All right. Inhale, come up. Exhale, reach forward. Come down. Inhale, look forward. Look, look up. Exhale, lower. That was two. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale to dive down. Inhale to come up. Try not to have a death grip on your towel. Exhale, the arms come down to your lap. Refine, get smoother each time. Inhale through the nose up. Exhale, lengthen out your exhale, going slow all the way down. Inhale, brings you back up. Exhale, lower your arms. You got two more, take your time. Slow and steady. Maybe smile as you're moving. And the smile increases the effects of the poses of the process. When you're done, just lay the towel on your lap, close your eyes, and maybe go back to that smile. Breathe, enjoy this moment. Feel the sense of accomplishment for what you've done so, thus far. And you can notice any sensations, any parts of your bodies that 
want to be active, want to move. And stay for three more breaths. When you're ready, you can grab a sip of water and then meet me behind your chair. We're gonna do some standing postures now. And again, always take a moment just to look down and notice where your body is in space. How do you stand on a day-to-day -day basis? Are you looking like this? Are you standing tall? Are you using what you have to help you feel confident? We can help ourselves by just standing with, you know, shoulders back, head up, not slouching. So we're gonna step your feet apart. I'm just gonna turn to the side, you can be behind your chair. Step your feet apart some. Take your right arm out and slide it down your left hand, left hand down your left leg. You don't have to go all the way up over your head, but if you do, that's okay too. And then exhale, bring the right arm down. We're gonna do five more on the right side before we switch to the left. Inhale, take your time leaning. Exhale, comes down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, make it a good one. Lower your right hand down. Relax. Bend your knees, shake those out so they don't get stiff. And now doing the left arm. So inhale, left arm comes out, palm faces forward. Right hand can stay down. Exhale, lower your left arm. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Take your time reaching, exploring. Last one. Lower. Take your hands to your hips and move your hips in a circle. Slow it down. And then come back to center. Try to get your hip bones on the same line so that one's not up higher than the other. Now put your weight onto your left foot. You can hold onto the chair because it's probably in front of you here. Just lean and see if you can lift up your right foot. We're just balancing on the left leg now. Flex your right foot in the air. Good, now sit down your right foot. We're gonna do the same thing. Put weight into your right foot. Maybe bend your knees again to soften everything up. We don't want it too rigid. Then lean to the right foot, float your left foot up. So notice where you feel this. What muscles have to activate here? Your glutes, your quads are working. 
and then set it back down. I'm gonna to turn to the side for the next one. Holding on to the chair, you're gonna lift your right foot out to the right side and then tap it back in. Your foot doesn't have to touch the ground. These are just leg lifts out to the side and in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. How does that feel? To the other side, to your left side. Again, I'm just turned so you guys can see me. We'll go lift it out and in. Inhale is going away. Exhale is when it comes back in. How about those glutes? Woo! One more here. And bring it down. Rest. Bring your feet close together. They don't have to touch, but close together. Knees fairly close. Again, chair could be in front of you here, so you can use that for balance. We're going into a squat. So all I want you to do is bend your knees, bring them over your toes, and see how that feels. Can you feel it in your shins, the backs of your legs, even in your abdominal muscles? Then inhale your options to reach your arms up overhead or keep your hands on the chair. And then exhale, come back into that squat. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale, Woo, legs are working today, lower your arms, straighten your knees, hold on to the back of the chair, and walk back your right foot, walk back your left foot, rest in downward facing dog. Explore this, look around, sway your hips, move your shoulders a bit. Soften the knee crease, soften your elbows, relax your face and your jaw. Come back to breathing real slow, real mindful. When you're ready, you'll lift your head up, step your right foot to the chair, bend your right knee, draw your shoulders back, press your belly forward, lift your head up, keep your gaze towards the horizon. See if you can push your left heel into the ground. There's a lot of stuff happening here. Make sure your chair's not running away from you. <laughs> Good, now step back your right foot, come back into a downward facing dog. Take a breath. Good. As you rise up, step your left foot forward. Spin your right heel down. Bend into your left knee, belly and chest come through your arms. Lean back your head, but keep the chin down. Just your head goes back. Good. Now step back, downward facing dog. Okay, we're going to add on to that. If you'd like to keep your hands on the chair, just like we just did, you can do that, or you can add on your arms. So we'll inhale, step your right foot forward, left heel spins down, right knee over right ankle, take your arms up for the balance. Exhale, hands back to the chair, step back, downward facing dog. When you're ready, step the left foot forward, bend your left knee, gaze forward, arms either out to the side or up overhead, you can pick. Exhale, hands come back to the chair, step back, downward dog. We're gonna do one more cycle of this. So inhale, right foot forward. 
arms reach up, back bend. Exhale, hands to the back of the chair, step back. Inhale, step your left foot forward, bend your left knee. Try to bring your arms up for balance. And then exhale your hands down to the chair, step your right foot in back into mountain pose, hands by your side and rest. Maybe you need to move your feet, wiggle your shoulders, reset. Moving our attention to your gluteus maximus here. And start with just bringing your knees close together so it'll help. Put a slight bend in your right knee, bringing your knee forward, balancing on your left leg. Now, can you bring the foot behind you, your right foot behind you? Now draw the right knee so the right knee is in line with the left knee. Now, can you bring your heel to your glute? Woo, baby. And bring that down. Let's try the other side. Bend your left knee. Bring your left foot behind you. Bring your knees together so they're kind of touching. Now see if you can bring your heel to your glute. You may notice the shoulders are back or this is a baby back bend. And then lower that down. Trying it again, bend your right knee, right foot goes behind you, heel to glute, shoulders down, heads up, feel the muscles and lower. Try bringing your left heel to your right glute. So you're kind of turning it to the side. Can you feel that if you kind of push the foot closer to the opposite side? Good. Now we're gonna to try to come into a different pose, similar, but um, lifting your right leg up and kicking it back. As you do that, you're gonna bring your chest forward over your chair. Watch out that you don't have anything weird behind you and then bring it back. Now let's try the left side. Bend your left knee. Push back your left leg. Look forward and then bring it back. Bend your right knee. Stretch it out. Bring it back. Left knee bends, left foot all the way behind you. One more time to each side, right knee. And then left. Good. Now just come into your mountain pose again. Catch your breath. <laughs> now we're gonna take your right knee out to the right. So I'm gonna turn this way. And I just want you to draw some circles with your knee. If this is too hard, sit down and do it. You can do this seated too. Just gonna draw circles with the knee. You'll feel it in your hips. Kind of explore this motion. And if you have a hip replacement or anything like that and a doctor's told you don't do it, then please don't do it. When you've whew, wore out that side, switch legs and try the other side. Your left knee will come up. You'll swirl this in a couple circles. And when you're done, set that one down, come back to your mountain pose, relax.
We're moving into our tree pose. You're welcome to use the back of the chair. Shift your weight to the left leg. Turn your right knee out to the right side. Come up onto your tippy toes, and then you can put your foot wherever you want. The, the part about it is I want you to think about is that rotation, the rotation of the knee going away from you. Now, your right sole of your foot can climb up the leg. It can go all the way up to your thigh, but that's not necessary. Somewhere here, and if you're really wobbly today, use that chair. Chair is a great assist. Also, you can practice this standing with a wall behind you, putting your shoulders on the wall, trying to make yourself feel taller. So you're kind of pressing into your foot, lifting up your upper body, but keep your shoulders down so the neck feels long, and then you can take your arms out to the side. So if you have a wall space in your home, try tree up against the wall. It's rather fun. <laughs> Again, watch out for furnitures and other things around you. When you're done with the right side, shake out your left leg. All right, let's try it on the left side. I'm going to take my left foot out to remind me that my knee goes that way, not straight ahead. And then place your left foot somewhere on your right leg. Your toes can be down. Again, your midline. Find something to stare at that's not moving, so don't look at your screen. Concentrate on smooth breaths. Think easy, not hard. Oh, this is so easy. Good. When you're complete, we'll release this pose. Walk it out. And then step away from your chair so you're so you've got a little space in front of you here. If you want, you can also use the chair. We're gonna go into a forward fold. You can use the seat of the chair, but most of you probably can do this without the chair. We're just gonna take our arms out and up. Exhale, hands to your knees, round your back. And then inhale, come back up. And do that again. If your arms going up doesn't feel good, just take your hands to your hips, come into this Forward fold, press into your feet, lift your shoulders back. So options to use the hands or not. Think of this as just moving your body in a way that feels good. If you want to go lower, go try for the shins. If you're like, that's too easy, try for the tops of the feet. <laughs> And this is another one you can do every day, just work on, like I have a couch here, so I could touch the couch. Bring your hands down to the couch. And a couple of these, after a while you might get dizzy, so you're really focusing on the breath. So just take your time. When you're like, whoa, that's enough. That's your body's way of saying, come back and have a seat. <laughs> and kind of rub your back up against the back of the chair. This is just a little, massage, don't, don't uh, hurt yourself, but it feels good. We'll rub, side, side. Next, we're gonna work on our pigeon pose or figure four, however you want to call it. I'm gonna scoot myself a little bit away from the back of the chair, so have a little bit of room back there. Lift up your right ankle and cross it and put it on top of your left knee or crisscross your ankles. Either way, allow the knee to open up. So really we're thinking about rotating the hips out. 
And then as you do that, realign your back so that your spine is straight, not curved. And then you can play around with, do you want to come forward? If you feel it already with just your foot here, stay here. If you're not feeling any sensations, keep your spine straight, but lean your shoulders forward. Flex your right foot so it protects the knee joint. And close your eyes and smile for a few breaths here. Very good. When you're ready, lift your head and shoulders back over your hips. Release your right leg over here to the right side. Straighten out your right leg. Lift your toes up so you feel this nice long line of energy from the hip to the heel. Oh, do we still have our towel? Option to use your towels or interlace your hands or just hold your hips. We're going to go into a humble warrior here. So I'm going to hold the towel behind my back, lean forward. You see if you can bring your arms up, keep your left knee over your left ankle, right heel is pressing down. And then when you're ready, come back up. Move your towel over to the left knee. Keep your right hand on your right leg. We're gonna move the left arm up and over or hold the back of your head. We're finding a little side stretch here. See if you can point your left shoulder back as opposed to bringing it forward. Just kind of opening up the front of the chest. Excellent, we'll lift your head back up. Step your right foot in. Good job. Moving on to pigeon with the left side. We'll lift the left foot up, cross knee over ankle, or ankle over knee, or ankle over ankle, allowing the knee to rotate open. So you can decide which one works for you and your body. Come back to sitting up, maybe square off your hips and keep your shoulders down. Exhale, start to lengthen out and find just a little bit of sensation like, oh, there's my piriformis muscle. I was studying about your hips this weekend. The piriformis muscle is very small in, in conjunction with our other muscles, but it comes right there between your sacrum and your hips. And when you come into these poses, like that muscle is really activated. Smile and breathe through your nose. Excellent, start to lean your shoulders back. Undo your left leg, bring it out to the side. Heel goes down, toe comes up. So feel the nice long length of your left leg. Right knee stays stable. You can use your towel if you want, coming into that humble warrior. If you don't wanna use the towel, just hold your hands back and lean forward or hold your, interlace your hands or don't do it at all. You can get just enough sensation leaning forward. So try to bring your arms up if you're holding your towel, squeezing your shoulder blades towards one another. Keep your head up if you like, or you can drop, drop your head down. And when you're ready, start to lift yourself back up. Place your towel down if you're using it. Left hand's gonna stay on your left leg. Again, point your toes up. So try not to collapse into, maybe loosen the muscles and then tighten them again. Left hand goes down, right arm goes up. 
either over your head or behind your head or to your hip. Take a deep breath in and fill up your right side of your lungs. yourself back up, lower your right hand, step in your left hand. Coming into um, just another gentle uh, cobra pose here. So we'll start with our hands on our knees, slide them forward, keep, open up the front of your throat, you'll feel a little arch. Try to hug your elbows in towards your ribs. Good. Now, push back, roll back, and make that cat-like shape in your spine where you're arching. Good. Now, lean back forward. Shoulders go away from your ears. Elbows hug in. Chin lifts. If you want, stick out your tongue like lion's breath. Go, <laughs> Tuck your chin in, roll back. Let's do two more of these. Inhale. Option lion's tongue. <sighs> Last one. Good. Your tongue is a muscle. Most people don't uh, even think about that, but it is. Rock yourself to the back of your chair. We're going to inhale, lift your arms and your feet, point your toes, reach your hands out. Exhale, lower them down at the same time. Do one more. Inhale. Exhale, this time slide in your chair into a comfortable spot. You have a clean towel and you wanna drape it over your eyes, you can, it might not stay because we're sitting in chairs, but this is a few moments to rest. And I call this constructive rest because it's not necessarily supposed to mean sleep. However, if you ever do fall asleep at the end of a yoga practice, that probably just means your body really needed it. Constructive rest means you're not doing anything. Your brain is not having to calculate, to perform. Your ego is no longer a factor. But just for these next few moments, imagine it as a blank screen a reset, a recharge. Breathe slowly and softly. Listen for sounds.
And repeat these mantra, these words to yourself. I am deeply grateful for this time. Time to experience my own existence and to practice kindness. Time to share peaceful acts and radiate love. Time to be the best human being I can be. Take three more conscious breaths here. And when you're finished, gently start to rock or sell little side to side or front to back, a soothing kind of feeling, a sway. And then take your time, stretch out through your arms and your legs, waking yourself back up, unless you want to stay in meditation for longer. And in that case, you can just hit the snooze button on the screen and mute me out and just stay here and meditate longer. That's totally fine. We'll finish out our practice, bringing our hands Together, resting your thumbs on your heart center. Lokasta Sukino Vavantu, which means may all beings everywhere be free of suffering and be happy. May each of you beings be free and be happy. Namaste.